Looney Farm Guy here, and this is the Landstall Machines Pack by JMZ and Landstall on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map. And this is a pack of several different um, items, starting with a mulcher. We have a cultivator. We have a disc harrow, two subsoilers, a cedar, two rollers, and two weeders. And uh, we'll be going through them in that order, testing them each individually. So the video is going to be broken up into um, the mulcher, cultivator, and so forth and so on down the line. So if you uh, want to skip ahead to a particular machine, uh, that is the order we're going to look at them. However, uh, so we're going to go through them one at a time. Like I said, the first one is mulchers. And there it is, the WNS 300, $5,500 to purchase. And we'll look at the slot count in a moment. Three meter working with 12 miles per hour. We have uh, additional weight options. And then we have a uh, reflector option. So this is 60 horsepower. So let me go set this up. We're gonna test it out. And then we're going to, uh, well, we'll show you how it works. So the first item we're going to look at, as we uh, mentioned, is the mulcher, and that's going to be found. Tools and mulchers. There it is. So, as I said, $5,500 there. Uh, yeah, we showed all this already. It is three slots on console. And it does what a mulcher does. You hook it up. And you can lower it and turn it on. Uh, actually, don't turn it on. It's just lowered. So it's a non-powered. We'll take a look out here. There's no PTO hookup or anything. They're just uh, blades. Kind of like a rotary mower, kind of, in a, in a way, I guess. Uh, as you drive forward, as you can see the... So, I did notice we'll hire a worker here, and let's take a look. It It goes pretty fast, too. Um, it's better if we get inside. Uh, turnaround is, is, works fine. There's nothing wrong with the turnaround. Uh, worker works fine with it. Uh, just notice that in the lowered position, on this particular tractor, now maybe this tractor is a bit big. It's 80 horsepower. It's rated at 60 horsepower. Probably would work better on maybe a smaller... Oh, why did it start there? That's weird. Um, so as you can see, it's just a bit off the ground. It's still mulching, but the animation for the blades only turn when it touches the ground. So as you can see here, it's not it's not missing anything. Let's just wait till it gets to this part. As you can see, it's a mulcher. It will mulch grass or anything, really. So we'll let it turn around again and see if it does... It's weird that it would miss that at the other end. It didn't miss it at this end. And as you can see here... Ah, look at that. It started... Now it started right at the... That's interesting. Now this time it started right at the grass line. Last time it started over here and went. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. But... Um... It mulches when yeah hmm interesting um all right on to the next one so the next one that we're going to take a look at is the cultivator and that's under cultivators there it is the auc cultivo fourteen thousand nine hundred dollars 140 horsepower recommended four meters working with nine miles per hour and it is nine slots on console we have wheel brand options, Trelleborg, BKT, Midas, and so the three. And we have a couple of options within. Some nice ones there. Midas, oh, Midas, no options. Back to Trelleborg. So, get a couple options there for tires. 
Uh, beam with reflectors. Again, we have the European style reflector package there. Lighting. You have the options of uh, lights with everything. Uh, trawl. This is interesting. Uh, a front addition there. We have one with that. Track eradicators. Those are there. So that. Yeah. And then a license plate. So I don't have the track eradicators. Those are um, for real world because the tractor compresses the ground much more than where it's not riding. You have these extra little bits there those extra to dig up where the tractor was so yeah anyways i'm terribly explaining that quite terribly so i have one with the front um additional front bits on and i have one without so that here is it comes folded just like that from the store we'll attach it L1 and X unfolds it like so and then we do have one adjustment in this configuration L1 and right stick up and down you can adjust um, the appearance of depth of those cultivator uh, pines however um, it really doesn't change the way it cultivates it's a shallow cultivator and that adjustment is purely uh, role play or visual in the game i know in real life it would serve a particular purpose but in the game it it is just a visual um, option so let's watch it turn around we'll go all the way to the end here and there it is <clears throat> um, and we're going to hop into the other one just to show you uh, the difference, if there's a difference. There's actually no difference between the two um, with the optional front. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember what they call them. But there you go. Turnaround is quite, yeah, efficient and it works well so as you can see off he goes again right so um, here we have the one that I have installed those front uh, yeah those things L1 again raises and lowers the middle piece but now L1 and R1 and right stick up and down we get to it's yeah, you don't really see it very well here. There it is there. You can adjust um, how open or closed that front piece is. Now, as I drop that down and we'll hire a worker, you can see there's an animation of dirt being pushed up or dug up, but it's actually not doing anything. It's just an animation. What's really doing the cultivation is these middle tines, as you can see there. Now I thought maybe it was a mulching or something like that, but it's just it's just again a visual. I'm sure in real life it actually does something. But in Farm Sim 22 on console, it is just a visual representation of something that the real machine has, and it will turn around. Oh, looks like it's. Having some, um, yeah, it, again, no issues with the worker and uh, it cultivates in a stubble cultivation as it should, as it's listed. And there it goes. So let's, uh, let's stop him and L1 and X folds it all back up again, ready for transport. All right, on to the next piece of equipment. All right, now this is the next piece of equipment that we're going to look at, and it's a disc harrow. Disc harrows is where we'll find it. There it is, $11,900. 
uh, it is five slots all of these are anywhere between three and nine slot nine slots was the largest so if I miss one uh, very low slot count so no worries about you old console players 100 horsepower recommended three meter working with 10 miles per hour uh, we have an option of side covers and that's the only option we have notice there is a three-point link on the back of this so that can be used for whatever you might want to use it for I have not hooked up anything to the back um, of course if you put something like maybe a cedar or a roller or whatsoever on the back uh, just remember to bump up your horsepower of the tractor you're using to include whatever uh, additional equipment you're pulling behind it right so uh, that's how you get it from the store we'll hook it up L1 and X unfolds it so that lays those side um, discs down and lowers it a bit ready to go and that's all the adjustments we have we can lower it and we'll hire a worker uh, this is a hundred horsepower Voltra and it has no problems getting up to the 10 miles per hour as you can there it is 10 miles per hour nice animation on this seems to work quite well and we'll watch it turn around and then we'll just go hook up uh, one of those other implements there just to show you how the uh, uh, how that works and there we go lifts up You see the uh, wheels individually moving as it uh, as the machine kind of turns around look at that that's kind of neat it's not all they're not all connected they kind of individually each tire is independent of the other and depending on the ground it will move when it's uh, you know yeah I thought that's kind of neat So there you go, that's the turnaround. Quite neat and tidy. Now let's see. Let's attach this. Uh, I'll just attach this um, cultivator here to show you. But you can really attach it to any two point or three point. And let's apologize for the angle of the view angle, but it should. There we go and there it is just like that so hmm. of course this tractor is uh, underpowered way underpowered to pull them all however well, let's uh let's unfold the cultivator and lower it oh look at that very nice and lower that and is the back one actually working hmm I don't know if it's actually doing anything it's hard to tell because they're both cultivators right let's I don't see any actual animation of dirt being thrown up so I ain't gonna have to investigate this a bit further oh oh that's weird well, now when I dropped it it kinda like all discombobulated inside the hmm uh, let's disconnect it there we go oh looks like I've messed it up Oh yes, <laughs> it's it is not. It's not liking whatever I did. Um, right. Oh, hmm. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see. If it'll hook up to the mulcher in this state. <laughs> oh, 
Oop. Oh. It's going to be difficult to back up. Oh. Oh, I think I've messed it up. All right. Um, let me go get another one. All right. I got another one here. And so let's... Hmm. Let's hook up the subsoiler to it. The subsoiler is a three-point link. So there it is. There's a three-point link. That all looks normal. Let's lower the three-point link, or let's lower the subsoiler. Okay, it looks like it's it's working-ish. Uh, well, we will get to the subsoiler at the moment, but I, I it's like okay, this is <laughs> this is weird. But let's go see if it actually operates, um, does what it does. I'm not going to lower the. Okay, so that's that's working. Sort of, as far as I'm like, yeah. Okay, let's lower that now and they still they are still working. This tractor is oh, it's it doesn't like it though. <laughs> oh dear. Um all right, let's see if it's still going to do that if I let go. Oh yeah. Yeah, so oh, will it hook up back hook up back again? Right. Okay. I think I think I might have Is it is it back to normal now? Okay. So, don't unhook anything when it's lowered. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I use at your own, or is it, is it, does that look right? That doesn't look right. We have an, we have another normal, well, let's check it against the one I have over here. Is that how it's supposed to look? No. It's not how it's supposed to look when it's unhooked. That's, uh... That's wrong. That's what it's supposed to look like when it's disconnected. So, <coughs> um, something with the animation is gone a little bit, um, a little bit haywire. All right. Well, um, yeah. On to the next piece of equipment. All right, so the next piece of equipment is the uh, one of the subsoilers, and we'll take a look at that. Tools and subsoilers. There it is, the GSC 300 plus, $13,500, uh, $13, 180 horsepower recommended, 3 meter working with 6 miles per hour. We have lighting, yes or no. This is how you get it from the store. I do recommend, I didn't have a weight on the front of this. This is 185 horsepower, medium tractor. It's a bit heavy, but it still does work. I just, for ease of operation, I would recommend a weight on the front of this tractor. L1 and X unfolds it, so it folds down those side discs. Now, it is a subsoiler under the subsoiler um, category. However, as you can see here, as I drive forward, let's hire a worker and watch it work a little bit. Deep cultivation, um, so it will pull up big rocks and it will leave a uh, cultivated state, as you can see here. We'll take a look on the map uh, to show you in a minute. We have some nice movement of those um, Tynes singular movement there. Here he goes. Turns around. Even though it's a bit light on the front end, the worker does manage to come around and line up correctly. So if we take a look 
at our map here I'm on the field that needs plowing it is removing that needs plowing and then if we go over here it is cultivated so it leaves a cultivated let's take that off plowed it does not say it's plowed and it's not a seed bed so stubble tillage cultivated so a cultivated look but it removes the needs plowing and as we turn around fold it back up and as we drop it it does a little oh this one doesn't do a little little thing a thing with the thing there you go that's hooking it up all right on to the next subsoiler all right so the next subsoiler we're going to look at is well the next subsoiler the terra deep xl 300 plus fifteen thousand one hundred dollars this uh, requires 250 horsepower three meter working with seven miles per hour we have side cover option side cover options yes or no and then additional side rollers if you wish i have the uh, side covers but not the side rollers we might take a look at that in a minute but this one has a couple of interesting um adjustment features uh the first one is l1 and right stick left and right you get to uh you can lower and raise that back piece now this is kind of important actually not that it really does changes how it works or anything because if we look up here it also takes away the needs plowing so uh, it does not create fields though neither one of them do now we have another one here l1 and r1 and uh, initially it doesn't look like it does anything when it's in the lifted position however when you lower it the l1 and r1 right stick left and right uh, you can adjust the height of the pto slightly or the height of the three point slightly up and down and this is actually going to um, affect how it um, pulls behind so notice in this position it's it's kind of wonky so we're gonna raise that up a bit and as we drive forward it's still kind of it's like oh that 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 looks really wonky so let's put that uh, back piece down no nope. let's uh, let's try this I had it working before let's lower it and then raise there we go raise that rear roller and now as you can see it's working much better but it's still a little bit and it seems to stick in the ground for some reason let's hire a worker here so lots of nice movement there it looks it looks a little bit awkward but perhaps on a larger tractor maybe it would work better this is a large tractor but um, uh, 300 horse 380 300 horsepower a uh, nice movement on the uh, subsoiler tines and if we stop yeah, it looks like the side covers get stuck in the ground. Interesting. Right, so let's go grab those extra little side rollers. I want to change the adjustment. L1 and X unfold. So notice we have the little side uh, side roller thingies on there now. And yes, there we go so let's hire a worker yeah that side cover looks like it's is it gonna still yeah look at that sticks in the ground until you it's like get out get out of that ground oh there we go <laughs> right and that's the that's the uh yeah the xl 300 um subsoiler let's move on to the next item look at is one of the rollers we're going to skip the cedar for the last because it kind of goes with the last bit 
of equipment. So we're looking at the rollers right now, tools and rollers. We have two of them. This one, the SPS 630, $12,100, 100 horsepower, 6.3 meter working width, nine miles per hour. We have a couple of options. We have wheel brand options. Trailberg BKT Midas. Same options as we had before with the previous. Yeah, the tires are all identical. Uh, we have a lighting option, which actually also puts on fenders. Boxes for stones. So that's really a, just a visual thing and a trowel, which is that, which I actually have on this here. So let's attach, attach, attach. There we go. That's how you get it. I don't have the lighting uh, on this one, but I do have the trowels, as you can see. X unfolds. And that is the transport mode when it's unfolded, even though... Yeah, okay, so the wheels, the back wheels are still on the ground. If we lower it, everything goes down, and there it is. So, L1 and right stick left and right we have that trowel that's what they're called trowel adjustment however that doesn't actually do anything it's just a visual I hire a worker away he goes I'll show you uh, we will we'll actually I'll show you him turning around first 100 horsepower so uh, fairly easy to pull no issues there with um, pulling power or any th any of that type of thing and as we turn around is he gonna turn around yeah I think so because there's a little bit to do there he should pick up that little piece there and then we'll see what those trowels do I don't think they do anything actually I think it's just a visual what they do in real life I don't I don't really do but this is a test on the game itself looks like we have some overlap with the worker and as you can see it's not actually doing anything that I can see it has some animation there if we take a look so here we are down here let's so mulched it's I don't oh okay you know what let's stop him there let's go over here and see because I don't think it's uh, yeah, we're outside here. We're, nothing's been mulched out here. Let's see if it actually does mulch when it's lowered. We'll just drive ahead a little bit. Nice animation again. Some dirt, dirt effects, dust effects. And no, it's not... It's not mulching at all. So it's just a roller and those front trowels are decorative. So, let's go and grab the other roller. All right, so this is the other roller. As you can see here, there it is. WPS 1230 Pro, $28,100. 150 horsepower required, 12.3 meters, working with 9 miles per hour. Again, we have the... Oh, let's go over here. The tire options that we have seen many times already, and the lighting option there, if you wish. No trowel option on this one. And it's quite wide, as you will see. There we go. Hook it up. L1 and X. Unfolds quite quickly. So you're not going to be waiting very long. And as we lower it, there it is. So an interesting configuration. Hire a worker. We'll let him go to the end of the row see what he does but um, animation looks nice it's uh, not quite synchronized for the actual position of the rollers but I've seen you know that's something we've seen before I think that's a limitation of the programming uh, in the game it's not a fault of the mod from what I understand so there it is it does go all the way to the end let's just watch him turn around He's going to go that way. All right, you could go that way. Looks quite efficient. Let's see how he lines up. 
and looks like he lines up quite nicely. So just a tiny little bit of overlap. And there he goes. Very nice. All right. Um, on to the next piece of equipment. What we're going to look at is a weeder and we'll find it under tools and weeders. There it is. The Plant Care 600, $8,750, 90 horsepower required, 11 miles per hour, 6 meters. Working with it is just as you see it here, no options whatsoever. And this is how you get it from the store. It has, has the built-in lights and everything. Let's hook it up. Now, weeders uh, are a mechanical way of getting rid of weeds. Uh, small and medium weeds like you see here. Now that we've hooked it up, L1 and X unfolds it. And then L1 and right stick up and down. Oh, that is... Yes, so if we come up here, we get to adjust the wheels. Again, just basically that's a visual thing. Lower it down. Away we go. So it's not powered or anything. You just attach it and pull it along if we let the worker do it which we will you let the worker and if there's weeds in the field that uh, a weeder will look after a worker will actually do it for you as you can see here there's weeds and then there's no weeds a little bit more obvious on the cultivated ground there so it won't if it doesn't see any weeds that it can do it won't it won't, um, the worker won't do it. Now, uh, we'll get up to the other end. If you noticed in my previous um, section of this video, there were some weeds at the end of this field over there. And so as you can see, turnaround was fine. Let's just go on and zip on down to the other end there and I will show you something. And it may uh, answer a question or two of yours you may have about bigger weeds now there we go we'll hire oh. let's try that again hire a worker there we go I fired him unceremoniously and so as it gets to these weeds it's like oh those weeds are too big for a mechanical weeder and he won't do it now if I stop him and put put the weeder down and do it manually there may be the odd small weed but i don't actually see it doing anything at all to these weeds these weeds have been there for a very long time and uh and the worker knows it and he says yeah that's just not going to do anything so that is the weeder those are the lights lights and signals so if you do go with lights or signals they all look like this and they all look pretty good l1 and x folds it back up again for transport and away you go now on to the next one so here is our next item it's actually a combination of this and the cedar what we'll show you that next however first the weeders the profi 750 fifteen thousand two hundred dollars 130 horsepower required 7.5 meter working with 12 miles per hour we have configurations of standard or mulcher. We do have one set up with a mulcher. I'll show you that. Lighting, as you can see there. And then attachers. This is important if you want to use the cedar tank. We have the ins installation of the catch crop drill or no. If you do not have that, the cedar will not attach. And it also puts uh, basically a cedar attachment on the harrow although it's a weeder harrow whatever you might want to call it right so this is the plane this is just the weeder configuration without any of the other options l1 and x unfolds it and as you would expect works just like a weeder we do have an adjustment here of these tines l1 and right stick left and right you can adjust the angle of those tines but it doesn't really matter too much although it does seem to pull a little easier with the tines in a more straight up and down than if they were 
flat for some reason, but it's maybe it's just my perception that it pulls easier. I don't know. But um, again, no problem with the worker. As you can see here, he stops where there's no weeds, turns around in a relatively efficient manner. and carries on with his work. Now, the next one's going to be interesting because we're going to put the mulcher on and the cedar. So, there we go. That's the plain one. And we're going to fold it back up. There we go. So, let's meet you over at our, hmm, our a, um, staging area. That I have placed the mulchers on and we have the attacher there so let's go ahead and find the cedar and the attacher to that there's the vino 14 uh, four thousand one hundred and fifty dollars uh, it holds 350 liters of seed so that's grass uh oil seed radish or canola and it is what it is just like that the attach point is where you see the little um the little holes there i do believe that is yes so we'll buy that let's see where it appears you can't lift it by hand so it's going to be a little yeah okay i think it's i think it appeared here or this could be it here but either way i think we're going to try with this one here let's attach our weeder and we're going to show you the mulcher too so we're going to show you how everything hooks up and then we'll test out the mulching feature and then oh dear <laughs> hold on Let's detach it oh and it stays up there oh boy all right well that's that's annoying oh okay there it's back on the ground um, you can't lift it by hand, even if it's empty, which is quite annoying. Um, so let's show you. You need to have it in the lowered position. If it's in the raised position, it won't attach. So let's let's give this another try. It's I, if it to say it's awkward would be an understatement. There we go. So now we should be able to get the attached. There it is. So once you have it on there. I would recommend just leaving it on there. If it's empty, um, if you just want to use it as a weeder, I do believe you can, yeah, you don't have to turn it on. Although if you use a, well, we'll test that out. Let's go ahead, see if it'll fill up. Yes, so fill it up with seeds. Let's, we'll plant grass, what the heck. So let's go with the weeder itself and open it up. And uh, let's raise it so it's not on the ground. And let's see if it's mulches just by itself, lowering it. Hmm. Yes, see that? See the color change? Color changed from this darker area to this lighter area. And we have mulched state. Good. All right. Now, if I hire a worker, oh yes, it is. If you have seed in there and you hire a worker, it will start planting seed right away. Well, let's just let let it do that. And as you can see, because it's planting seeds, it is also changing the look of the ground. But it's mulching and planting, which is kind of neat. And um, I don't think the weeding part of it is going to matter because the mulcher l will look after any weeds, but we'll see here. Yeah, look at that. The mulcher just mows down anything in front, so it doesn't matter if it's large weeds or small weeds or whatever. Um, it's just kind of, it's just kind of like a mini mower. It just kind of like, just takes it all out. So the weeding part of it is not a function when you have the mulcher on there. So it actually turns into a mulcher and then a cedar. So still multifunctional, but now, oh boy. 
that's not good so yeah little issue with well now let's see is that the um, and obviously six miles per hour is the speed that um, the cedar so let's let's disconnect the cedar and now we can hire a worker no worker won't oh so 12 miles per hour is the mulcher now let's see what else do we have for adjustments here we have the tines so let's move those up and right stick up and down yeah the mulcher we can move that mulcher down so that it's lower is that gonna no it does not like the worker does not like it so let's see here it's obviously mulching but the worker you the worker will not work it with uh, oh Oh, worker's blocked by... Oh, okay. Let's see if we can shake off that plant. It is blocked by the cedar. There we go. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. There it is. It's working out. The cedar was blocking it on the top. So, you can use it as a mulcher by itself, and a worker will work it. And you can use it as a cedar and a mulcher. But... Can you use it as a cedar and not a mulcher? Let's try that. Seeds in, but no mulcher, just... And it looks like, yes. Worker, yes. Let's see, what does it do with the weeds? So it still takes away the, the small weeds. Oh, it stopped. Why did it stop? It's not a direct drill. So even though it takes away the weeds, will it... Oh. Worker no worky. Am I actually planting? It's changing the ground texture. Uh, hot spot crop type growth. Oh, it's not showing. Oh, wait a minute. Growing. There we go. Growing? No, nothing. It's not planting anything. Oh, because I have, yeah, I'm planting grass. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. Turn off the weeds. Growing. Yes, okay, so. As you can see here, I it is a direct drill. Let's change the crop type. Grass, oilseed radish, how about canola? How about some cannoli? Yes, it will. Will the worker? No. Interesting. Come on, lower. There we go. Lower and so you can manually direct drill, but the worker won't do it on unless it's cultivated. Interesting. Interesting. But there you have it. That's it. I think I've covered every possibility, and that is the Landall, not Landall, Landstall Machines Pack by JMZ and Landstall on Farming Simulator 22. Let's uh, hop back over there and here they all are in a row, mostly, kind of messed up, but there you are. That's every item tested and demonstrated. It's thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game, so till the next one, bye for now.